you and your friends. Everything you want to say is sweet. Everything you don't like that shit, I am all. I don't care what anybody says, leg day is the worst day ever. Only thing we didn't get in is uh, leg extensions. Homeboy gotta go to work. Old ladies hogging the machines and stuff. Yo, you know, I was thinking this old lady was staring at us. You know how we like stare at girls? Like, mm. I was just wondering, do you think old ladies stare at us? Like, mm, look at that young buck. Ah! Old lady comes up to me. She grabs me by my wiener. Just playing y'all, don't take that too seriously. Little boys watching Mike. Yeah, I know. The little boys should be laughing. Be careful. Some teachers out to grab your wiener. All right, bruh. Peace out, bruh. Bye. <laughs> Can't even walk. The time is ticking down. Basketball season is literally right around the corner. So, I mean, we're going hard in the gym right now. Oh, all I can say is my legs are dead. I gotta be eating a lot of food in order to maintain a solid weight. But I'm just killing a turkey sandwich, waiting for this chicken to heat up, then I'm about to make a salad. It's about to be flames. But today's a gloomy day, but thank God it's Monday. Shout out to y'all that are in school. I'm sorry. Shout out to y'all that don't start for like two more weeks. Yee. Who do social media because a lot of times people feel they can downplay what we do because they hide behind a motherfucking computer. Social media started out with just people who wanted to communicate faster. People like, why the fuck would I use a fax machine or send you a letter in the mail when I could just hit you on my computer, right? The theory of evolution. And remember when you used to have to wait to 8 o'clock till your favorite show came on? You're like, fuck. And if you missed that show, you really fucked. Now you just DVR that shit. Take a cassette tape. You playing it, but your favorite song on the other side. So you gotta take it out, flip it over, rewind that motherfucker. So you said, fuck it, they invented CDs. But then the CDs had problems. They get scratched up. You had to get stacks and stacks of those motherfuckers. You had to get bookcases to fill them up. You had to install shit in your car for those damn things. And Napster and Kaza come along and said, just download it onto an MP3 player. Then Apple evolved even more and said, you know what, fuck it. You only gotta carry one device. Put it all in the phone. Shit just kept evolving. People wanted information faster. People wanted their music faster, their videos faster. They wanted their entertainment faster and their entertainers faster. You get anything from porn to fucking cat videos. So millions of people start going into the internet. Fuck it. So entertainers say, shit, well, I don't have to drive to New York to push my demo. Now internet shows is getting more views than TV shows. Internet stars are getting more recognition than TV stars. And you got motherfucking regular Joes blowing up everywhere around the world. All these commercials that used to cost thousands of dollars to put on TV ain't worth it anymore because everybody's watching the internet. So the advertisers said, fuck it, I might as well pay the people on the internet. Then the internet went a step further and gave niggas insight, which means you could tell how old they are, what gender they are, and where the fuck they from. You don't know who's watching the TV show. Advertisers started to get more bang for their buck because they knew exactly who was watching their commercials. So their businesses started to pop up, and now the internet's a multi-billion dollar corporation. Now, most creators, when they get on a platform the first time, they just do it for fun. Whether it be YouTube, Vine, Twitter, Shot, Snapchat, Facebook, Periscope, it doesn't matter. They just doing it because they just love it, right? When I first got on MySpace back in the day, then eventually went to YouTube back in 06, I wasn't thinking about money. I just wanted a place to create, somewhere I could share my ideas with the people. Now, these days, because you can make millions of dollars on the internet, people are coming in for the wrong reasons. You have to literally enjoy and live that shit, or you're not going to last. Trust me, you're not going to and how do I divide famous? How can I get on this YouTube shit? You can't do it for the money. You got to do it for the people. The money and success comes along with it. I used to chase dollars, but it didn't make sense. Let me tell you this. Never forget this. Wherever there's an audience, there will be money and opportunity. Never forget. Say, oh, look at these idiots on YouTube. Or these motherfuckers trying to be funny on Vine. These Instagram hoes. They need to get a job. Oh, they got a job. Yeah, they storm. Anybody can post a video. Anybody can post a vine. Anybody can put a video on YouTube. Yeah, there's millions of people do it. But how many of them are famous? How many of them are going to become someone from it? Anybody can go to any court around the world and pick up a basketball and shoot a hoop, but you're not going to be Michael Jordan. Anyone can rap in a mic, but you're not going to be motherfucking Jay-Z. These people in social media master their craft. That's why they get the big views. That's why they get the big bucks. And just because you may not like it, don't understand it, don't mean shit. 
to my creators. You have to understand your value. Doctors know each other. Actors know each other. Rappers, they all hang out together. They know each other because that's their business. So if the creators know each other, you don't think the advertisers know each other? You don't think Bill from fucking Coca-Cola don't know Karen from Starbucks? I'm showing y'all my basic meal plan pretty much. To, this is just the morning. It's like 10 o'clock right now. Ate that sandwich. Now I'm eating this dry salad. The girl of your dreams to me is probably not a challenge. Probably not a challenge. Hey. I've been kind of yeah. Man, is it raining in your city on a Monday? Come on. Nah, I enjoy the rain. I ain't complaining. Just a little bit. You know, just a little sprinkle. I'm saying tornadoes in the area, man. Last time I remember tornadoes, they ran through the town. So, I'm hoping that's just a, a teehee. A joke. Going to get something to eat. Got to put my Dane seatbelt on. Seatbelt. Man, you know what I realized? I eat out too much. If you think about it, if I can, if I can help y'all young people out right now, save your money, spend it on some shoes, some clothes, a car, cool stuff, man. Just think about all the money you waste on food. Like this is unnecessary. Like my boy just hit me up, say, "Yo, bro, you trying to eat?" And I'm like, "Man, life's short, so why not?" That kind of thing. I mean, why not go eat? But at the same time, like, it's just spending money that doesn't need to be spent. You this way, see, I've been watching you for a while. And I just gotta let you know that I'm really feeling your style. Yeah, bro, this, this weather is outrageous. I know I was looking on uh, Instagram, my boy Devin, it was raining like crazy. It was like a storm, a flood. I can't, I can't stand that. And the worst part is that's the time of the season that's coming like it's gonna start raining and flooding man the last two years I've been stupid in my other car that I had and uh, parked near like the sidewalk and my car got flooded so just a little warning for y'all you're not allowed in this vehicle or any vehicle that I'm drying drying <laughs> that I'm driving if you don't know who Childish Gambino is, and you don't know every song on his because because of the internet album, okay? We ain't allowed in this car. Oh, this is it's Monday. It's this Monday. Is how we do hey. It. Single or what? I need a girl from the country. I need a girl from Kentucky. I need a shawty from Houston. I know a girl I should propose to. Dude, all hungry over there. Look at him. Hey, hey, hit the quan, hit the quan, ooh, hit the quan. Bro, you don't know how to dance. <laughs> I'll be that for bro. Alright, but. Looks clean, man. Looks real clean. Mm. Who's that? A customer? Oh yeah. Give him that TMW face. That's all you're doing, bro. Vlogging. Vlogging mm -hmm. in the sneaker life, bro. Consistency. That light skin lighting ain't good, though. There we go. Yeah. Like I told y'all, eating. Cause your boy invited me. What do we got here? Hmm? What kind of rice you get? Brown? E? See, we on that, that health life. What you get, huh? Yeah, how much was this? I didn't even pay attention. Eight dollars? Nine? Good deal, good deal. Hmm, hit the corn. What's this place called? Teriyaki Planet, man. Fire, ye. It's a caterpillar, bro. The caterpillar is turning into butterflies, huh? Ask the audience, bro. Dude, no, no, put that. This thing looks poisonous. What's up, B? You get all up close and personal with you. Oh, he's mad. He ain't playing. 
Oh, he's falling. I'm gonna kill him, dude. Oh, look out! <laughs> I should pick him up and throw him on you. Uh, you scared, bro? You got all the cameras on. <coughs> that was good. That was good food. Definitely hit up that place if you know of one. <clears throat> Question of the day for all my people. So, there are 30 cows in a field, 28 chickens. How many didn't? Let me know in the comments below. Out and about looking for a backpack for my future MacBook that I plan on purchasing. Just stopped by uh, Sports Authority, Young Hoover, trying to see if he was in there, but they got him locked up somewhere. So, proof I was here, bruh. Uh, actually, I'm gonna run into Best Buy real quick. I do need a tripod. Oh, I always say I need a tripod, but I'm never willing to actually purchase it. Nah, I ain't gonna get it. It's funny, like, I spend all this money on, like, my MacBook and computer, or not computer, uh, camera stuff, yada, 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 lenses. But I will not buy a tripod. I cannot. I, the one I've had, I've had it for years. I paid $10, got it at the flea market. And I'm just looking for a deal ever since. I mean, nothing can compete with my $10 tripod. I'm about to run into Kohl's real quick. See if they got a jewelry box, watch box, I need it. I have no idea. Where would a watch box be? Y'all know any idea where a watch box would be? I'm whispering, cause people would be like staring. Lame. Cole sucks, that's why I never go there. Like, period. I haven't been to Kohl's in four years for a reason, because they trash. Just saying. <sighs> Didn't even vlog in there, because it was just... <sighs> you guys want to know something funny? Like, I honestly want to vlog the whole time as I'm in the store, but... <laughs> Staring at a camera and talking to it, people think I'm freaking insane. And really, who cares what people think, you know? Like, honestly, I don't care. I ain't never going to see that person again. But it's just that that thing that I got to get over. I mean, when I'm with my, my friends or my girl or anybody, my moms, it's easier. But when it's just me, ooh. And really, nobody cares <laughs> that you're vlogging anyway. I'm getting over it. It's, it's coming. I'm working on it. Once I get over that slight fear, embarrassment, I don't know what you want to call it, this channel is going to be popping. I already know Ross is about to be lit. It's always lit. Everybody's always in here. Okay. Extra large. Yep. Got him. I told you I was going to be lit in here. Ridiculous. Ye got some goodies. I love Ross because it always has the regular sizes. It was lit in there, like I told you, it was crazy packed. But I got those compression shorts and a few other goodies that I'll show y'all. I just somehow got fascinated with men's jewelry I don't know what it is but I really enjoy it and it seems like TJ Maxx and Ross 
Ooh, ooh. TJ Maxx and Rock. Well, anyway, let's get into the whole compression shorts. Athletes, yo, if you're if you're a big dude, six three and above, man, go to Ross. They always got the pads and stuff. These are so expensive. Now I always get a good deal on them. I always do. So ye uh, picked up this bracelet. This is dope. You guys can see I got one on that looks like it. Uh, picked up this one. These are like $7.99, $4.99, so I mean, good jewelry for cheap Michael Kors. I don't know if y'all are into that or know about it. This is blackjack. This is just a ring uh, from a pinky, bruh. Looking like pinky. I don't know if y'all are too young for that, my audience, but pinky from Friday. Ye, so. <sighs> Success. Now I just need to go home and I probably need to go shoot some hoops. Honestly. Serious question though. Does this make me look married? <laughs> I ain't married, but it's funny because this ring fits on this uh, ring finger. But on my right hand, it will not fit. It fits on my pinky, so. I bought this primarily for a pinky ring. I just think it looks dope, so <laughs> I don't know. All y'all grown folks, let me know what you think. I'm supposed to be having some dope shirts for Sneaker Life come in. Or we'll also create a Mic Life shirts. I think that'll be dope. At least for me. I don't know if anybody's gonna buy them. Which, really I could care less. I just think it's dope. I'm gonna be wearing it. That's all that matters, so I'm hoping this shirt is in the mail so I can show you guys. It ain't in here. Dang it. Maybe tomorrow. Looking like that young Don King. <laughs> uh, what's up, guys? Uh, my day was pretty simple today. I mean, you saw what happened earlier. That was pretty much it. I've been on business calls all day long just trying to push some new stuff. So, anyway, thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. Anyone new? Man, I really appreciate you guys. I've been reading through your comments and got a lot of great video ideas that will be coming, some topics. I might do a Q&A video. I think, I think once I hit 5,000 subscribers, I'll do a Q&A video just to make it a little more fun. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day when you're watching this great night, whatever time. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Uh, you already know, staying consistent. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Now watch me whip. Now watch me nay nay. Peace, y'all. You used to call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love. Call me on my cell phone.